Okay, so here's another video on partial differentiation and this time I'll be sharing with you how to look for the implicit partial derivatives of a multivalued function. And uh, to formally define an implicit partial differentiation, we let f be a differentiable function in terms of x and y such that z equals f of xy and f is defined implicitly by the equation capital F of xyz equals zero, then capital F is differentiable and capital F sub z of xyz is not equal to zero, then the partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to negative capital F sub x of xyz all over capital F sub z of xyz. And this is your negative partial derivative of f with respect to x all over partial derivative of f with respect to z. And similarly, if you wish to look for the partial derivative of z with respect to y, so that's negative capital F sub y of x, y, z all over capital F sub z of x, y, z. And again, this is your negative partial derivative of f with respect to y all over partial derivative of f with respect to z. Okay, and let's have some example. <clears throat> if x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz equals 2, and then we wish to look for the partial derivative of z with respect to x and partial derivative of z with respect to y and partial derivative of y with respect to x. And then what we need to do first is we, we shall write this equation of the form f of x, y, z equals 0. And we shall have x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz minus 2 equals 0. And from here, we can now let f of xyz equals x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz minus 2. And then for the partial derivative of z with respect to x, and that is negative partial derivative of f with respect to x, divided by partial derivative of f with respect to z. And then we shall have the negative partial derivative of x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz minus 2 with respect to x divided by the partial derivative of x cubed plus y cubed plus z cubed plus 3xyz minus 2 with respect to z. And then getting their implicit derivative, so that's negative, then differentiating this with respect to x, so you have 3x squared, then the derivative of this 0, 0, and then the derivative of 3xyz in terms of x is 3yz. And then the derivative of negative 2 is 0. On the denominator, we shall differentiate this function with respect to z. And then leading us with 3z squared okay, plus 3yx uh, or 3xy. Okay? And then we shall have... <clears throat> The negative 3x squared plus 3yz all over 3z squared plus 3xy. And then you can drop uh, 3 on each term on both the numerator and denominator. And finally, we shall have the partial derivative of z with respect to x, which is equal to negative x squared plus yz all over z squared plus xy. And then for the partial derivative of z with respect to y, we can now say that's negative partial derivative of f with respect to y over partial derivative of f with respect to c. And we shall have this. And then executing the derivatives, we shall have negative. Differentiating this with respect to y, you will get 3y squared plus then derivative of 3xyz with respect to y is 3xz. And then on the denominator, we differentiate this with respect to z. So that's 3z squared plus 3xy. And then we shall have, and again, you can uh, check out 3 on each term on both the numerator and denominator. So we shall have the partial derivative of z with respect to y is equal to negative quantity y squared plus xz all over 3z squared plus xy. Then finally, for the partial derivative of y with respect to x, so that is written as negative partial derivative of f with respect to x over partial derivative of f with respect to y. And then again, uh, performing the derivatives. So we shall have negative in terms of x, that's 3x squared plus 3yz all over in terms of y, that's 3y squared plus 3xz. And then we shall have, okay, and then again, you can check out 3 each term on the numerator and denominator. So finally, 
the partial derivative of y with respect to x is negative x squared plus yz plus y squared plus xz. Okay. Let's have another example. <clears throat> this time, let's uh, consider an exponential function of the form e to the x plus e to the y plus e to the z equals e to the x plus y plus z. And then again, we shall rewrite this of the form f of x, y, z equals zero. So we shall have e to the x plus e to the y plus e to the z. Then you throw this on the other side, on the left side. So that's negative e to the x plus y plus z equals zero. And then we can now let f of x, y, z equals e to the x plus e to the y plus e to the z minus e to the x plus y plus z. And then doing the same, the partial derivative of c with respect to x is negative partial derivative of f with respect to x all over partial derivative of f with respect to z. And then we have this. So we shall have negative derivative of e to the x with respect to x is simply e to the x. Derivative of e to the y with respect to x is 0, so as e to the z. And then since there is x here, so we need to differentiate it. e to the x plus y plus z times derivative of x plus y plus z in terms of x, and that will give you 1. On the denominator, <clears throat> we shall do the same for with respect to z. So we shall have e to the z minus e to the x plus y plus z times derivative of x plus y plus z in terms of z is simply 1. So we shall have partial derivative of z with respect to x is negative quantity e to the x minus e to the x plus y plus z all over e to the z minus e to the x plus y plus z. And then let's have our partial derivative of z with respect to y. So that's negative partial derivative of f with respect to y all over partial derivative of f with respect to z. And then we shall have this. Okay. And then performing the same operation. Okay. So do we have the partial derivative of c with respect to y is negative e to the y minus e to the x plus y plus z all over e to the z minus e to the x plus y plus z. And then finally for dy dx, okay, just repeating the process. We have negative partial derivative of f with respect to x over partial derivative of f with respect to y. And so finally, the partial derivative of y with respect to x is negative e to the x minus e to the x plus y plus z all over e to the y minus e to the x plus y plus z. Then another example. <clears throat> okay. If we let x raised to y, y raised to x, z equals 1, find dy this x okay <clears throat> so writing this of the form uh, f of x y z equals one and then by employing the logarithmic property so we shall have ln of x raised to y y raised to x z equals ln one and you know that ln one is equal to zero and then this will now become ln x raised to y plus ln y raised to x by applying the properties of logarithmic function plus ln z equals zero. And then by applying another property, you have r ln x is equal to ln x raised to r. So we shall have y ln x plus x ln y plus ln z is equal to zero. So we can now let capital F of x, y, z is equal to y ln x plus x ln y plus ln z equal zero. Okay, and then to look for dy dx, so the partial derivative of y in terms of x is equal to the negative partial derivative of f in terms of x all over the partial derivative of f in terms of y. So we shall have negative, then we differentiate this with respect to x, okay? So with respect to x, y is constant, then the derivative of ln x is 1 over x, okay, plus the derivative of x ln y with respect to x is ln y, and then the derivative of ln z is 0. Then on the denominator, we shall differentiate this with respect to y, so we have ln x, that's the derivative of y ln x with respect to y, plus x, since this is constant, times derivative of ln y is 1 over y. And then simplifying, we shall have okay, negative y over x and then 
plus ln y all over ln x plus x over y. Okay, to simplify, we shall have negative, you get the LCD on the numerator, that is x, y, and then x times ln y is x ln y all over. Then you do the same, you get the LCD here, which is y. Okay, then y times ln x is y ln x, then plus x. And then simplifying, we shall now have negative y plus x ln y all over x times the reciprocal of the denominator. That is y all over y ln x plus x. So multiplying, we have negative, sorry for this one. A negative y squared plus xy ln y all over, you do the same here, x times y, that's xy ln x plus x squared. So this is our partial derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, I'll I will delete my annotation. Okay, so we shall have, okay. Oops, sorry. And that's... The partial derivative of y with respect to x is negative y squared plus xy ln y all over xy ln x plus x squared. And 